Term of office. The members of the board shall not hold office for a term of three years for the date of appointment or until their successors shall have been appointed and qualified. They may, however, be reappointed for a second term. Each member shall qualify by taking an oath of office before entering upon the performance of his duties. Vacancies in the board shall be filled by the president from the list of recommendees selected by the commissioner who were from the list of nominees submitted by the integrated and accredited association for the unexpired term only. Removal of board members any members of the board may be removed by the President of the Philippines upon the recommendation of the Commissioner for neglect of duty, incompetence, malpractice, commission of tolerance of irregularities in the examinations, or for unprofessional, unethical, or dishonorable conduct after having been given the opportunity to defend himself in a proper administrative investigation. Compensation of chairman and the board of members. I think this is no longer applicable. But, as per section 8, the chairman and members of the board shall receive a monthly compensation of no less than 12,000 pesos, provided that the chairman shall receive a monthly compensation of 10% more. But still, I think this is valid because it was just stated that no less than 12,000 Provided further that such compensation shall be increased or modified pursuant to the General Appropriations Act of the year. Provided furthermore that they shall receive other benefits that may be provided by the law examination given by the board and shall designate any subordinate officer of the commission to act as secretary and custodian of all records including all examination papers and minutes of the deliberation of the board. 